up everyone one of the most common questions i get is hey tyler how do i get started with a platform like hack the box matter of fact i'm live on stream right now making the standalone video and i want to give a special shout out to fasky live over on twitch fasky live asked this question how would you start from scratch with hack the box i mean i can use the guided mode but i'm afraid that i don't really learn something with that where can i learn needed basics do you have recommendations now if you ask 10 different people this question you are going to get 20 different answers there's a lot of places that you can start as far as recommendations go, but let me give you some of my recommendations from a few different platforms that I would recommend. So because you asked the question, starting with Hack the Box, let me go ahead and share my screen. Here we are on the main Hack the Box platform, and the place that I would recommend is, well, where Hack the Box recommends, is these starting point machines. These are really incredible in the way they teach and help you do your first couple of machines. They have different tiers. So we have tier zero, the key is a strong foundation. Tier one, you need to walk before you can run. And finally, tier two, don't forget to contemplate. Now, here's the learning outcome. Like, let's just dive into this and show you what you'll be doing. In the first tier, you will gain essential skills in the world of cybersecurity pen testing. You'll start by learning how to connect to various services such as FTP, SMB, Telnet, RSync, and RDP anonymously. Next, you'll discover the power of InMap, a valuable tool for identifying open ports on target systems, allowing you to assess their vulnerabilities. Lastly, you'll explore connecting to a MongoDB server, adding a valuable layer to your pen testing knowledge. This tier will lay a strong foundation for your journey into the realm of cybersecurity. Now, what is cool about each one of these machines is they have very much a guided approach. So you can even see we have different steps we're supposed to follow. As we knock them out, it'll open up the ne next task. But the biggest thing is if you just go through these tasks and you do not take notes, you are not going to learn. One of the things I think many people regret when they get into cybersecurity or pen testing is they don't start right away with taking notes. We just think by doing these things, we're gonna learn it. But here's the thing, cybersecurity and pen testing in particular is a massive field. There is so much to learn, so many things to poke at, and really your notes serve in some ways as your second brain, your second mind. So I encourage you to take notes. You can use Notion, you can use Cherry Tree, you can use OneNote. Heck, you can use notepad.exe for all I care. It's less important what app you use to take your notes and just more important that you're taking notes as you go through this. I have a whole nother video on YouTube called How to Take Notes for Hackers or a Hacker's Guide to Taking Notes. You can YouTube it, you can find it, search for it, you'll be able to find it where I go through my personal note-taking process as I go through these rooms. So depending on your experience level, I think these starting point machines would be a great place to start. Work through each one of these tiers and then start with the easy machines on Hack the Box. Now the cool thing about machines on Hack the Box, I'll show you some of these. If we go to Hack the Box, I'll go to Retire Machine and let's just pick a random easy machine that I haven't done so I don't spoil anything. So here's one, Headless. The cool thing about these machines is we have two different modes. So with every easy machine on Hack the Box, you can choose an adventure mode, which is more like a black box pen test. You're not giving information ahead of time, and it's just you, your VM, your computer, your skills. Can you get to both of the flags? On the other hand, if you get stuck with something, the cool thing is you can go to guided mode. Guided mode turns it a little more into like a try hack me machine or what you encountered on the starting point machines where it guides you through the process without giving you the answer, which I think is good. It points you in the right direction, but still requires you to do some of the digging and the learning yourself. And finally, each one of these machines also has an official walkthrough and video walkthrough, which this isn't bad to use. Like when I was first getting into pen testing and doing things like hack the box and try hack me, I always thought if I looked at a walkthrough, I lost, I failed on that machine, but that is not true guys. Like if you watch me on stream, you see me use walkthroughs all the time. The way I approach a hack the box machine is first I try doing it in adventure mode. Then when, not if, but when I get stuck, cause I usually get stuck, I switch over to guided mode to see if I can get unstuck. If I'm still stuck at that point, I will look at the official walkthrough, but only until I'm no longer stuck and then I'll dive into the machine. Guys, you only lose if you don't learn something from going through the machine. So if you have to use a walkthrough, awesome. I use them all the time, use them when I was studying for the OSCP, and it works. You only lose if you don't take notes. So when you look at a walkthrough, just make sure you document the one thing or the two things that you were missing, add it to your notes so when you discover a similar attack vector next time, you'll have an idea of what to start with. Now, you mentioned that you are starting completely from scratch, so I'm not sure uh, your full background, but if you're completely new to IT, cybersecurity, networking, things like that, the other platform I recommend for starting with is try hack me now 
There's always this debate, which which platform is better, Hack the Box versus Try Hack Me. I use both of them pretty expen extensively. Try Hack Me is where I first got my start, and I'm still active on Try Hack Me. I'm actually going to showcase a Try Hack Me machine on stream. You can see my ranking on here. I've even created some official Try Hack Me machines. So I love Try Hack Me. And if you go over to the Learn tab here on Try Hack Me, and a lot of this as well is completely free. You don't need a sub to go through this stuff. We have all these different learning paths. So if you're brand new, this is what I would recommend. I would recommend doing the pre-security learning path. These are all hands-on labs, hands-on modules take notes as you go after you do the pre-security learning path do the intro to cybersecurity learning path after intro to cybersecurity do the junior pen tester path and after junior pen tester i would do the did i miss it Oh, here it is. It was the first one. One of the full paths I completed the red teaming bath. That's a lot more advanced. But once you get to like the junior pen tester path, you are ready to do hack the box machines alongside of it. So do try hack me challenge machines and hack the box machines. Junior pen tester, you will have the skills to go through the machine and at least understand the walkthroughs when you get stuck. So hey, hopefully you found this helpful. And for those of you who have a different idea of how to get started with doing CTFs and, and pen testing and learning some of these boxes, let me know in the comments your thoughts. What is your favorite platform? What is your favorite learning path? What are some things I maybe miss that you want to let other people know about? Once again, let me know in the comments. Would love to hear from you. And thank you for the question over on live stream. Once again, thank you Fasky Live for the question. And thank you all for watching this video. I will see you guys in the next one.